Hey everyone, this is Snark with Snark's Domain. Today we'll be testing out three different thermal putties, uh, all made by Pinchim Technologies, and uh, the results are pretty exciting, so stay tuned. So most of you guys know this already, but for those of you that are just tuning in, uh, I've been looking for a suitable replacement thermal putty for TGPP10, uh, sold by T Global, and it's now obsolete, so they're not making it and selling it anymore. Uh, and so, what an inventory is left online uh, on DigiKey, that's that's it, as far as I understand. Once that's all gone, uh, there won't be more made. So. Yeah, um, that brings us to today's test, which is pretty exciting. So we're going to play the time lapse here, and then we're going to talk about the results. All right, so we've got our test results in, and I should note here that when I tested these, it was about two degrees Celsius cooler inside my house. Now, I'm not sure if that would greatly affect the test results, but I just wanted to make you guys aware of that. Uh, so up top, we've got Pencham's TH930. Uh, it's rated at five watts per meter Kelvin, and it completed the test in five minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, on the bottom left, we've got Pencham's TH855-5. It's also rated at 5 watts per meter Kelvin, uh, and it completed the test in 5 minutes and 27 seconds. And on the bottom right, we've got Pencham's TH949-1. It's rated at 12 watts per meter Kelvin, and it completed the test in 5 minutes and 5 seconds. So all three of these putties are silicone-based. Uh, TH930 is white in color, and... It's got like a similar consistency to TGPP10. Uh, so yeah, they must have like similar additives or whatever. Uh, now TH855-5 and TH949-1 are a light gray in color and they have a slightly different consistency. Um, it almost feels like soft clay uh, when you're when you have it in your fingers. Not that you should have it in your fingers, you should be wearing a glove if you're gonna handle it, obviously. But uh, yeah, both of those are, are similar to each other. So so yeah, we've got some viable options for thermal putties, but how much do they cost and are they accessible? So cost-wise, um, we can do a comparison on two of them and the third one, well, we'll get into that in a second. So uh, if you go to digitakey.com, uh, TGPP10 can still be purchased because they still have a little bit in stock right now. Uh, if you buy a 1 kg tub, it costs 180 US dollars. And if you just buy a 500 gram tub, it's 112 US dollars. So let's see. Uh, TH930, uh, the largest tub that you can buy is 500 grams and it costs $96. So if you bought two of those to make up one kilogram, it would be $192. So just slightly more expensive than TGPP10. Uh, TH855-5 uh, also can be purchased in 500 gram tubs and they cost $120.80. If you bought two of them, that would be $241.6. Uh, so TH949-1 is not currently listed on digikey.com. 
I'm hoping it gets added in the future. That would make it really accessible, and I'm sure it would sell quite a bit of it. Uh, that being said, you can buy it directly from Pensham themselves. If you go to their website and go to their product list and find the product that you want to buy, uh, you'll click on a link and it'll actually provide a WhatsApp phone number. And that's how you'll initiate your your conversation with them. Uh, so, yeah, that's how you buy those putties. Um, I look forward to testing these on a video card here in the near future and I'll definitely post that video once I've got that so that's it for today and I'll catch you guys on the next one